um, there's a TikTok video where someone has intentionally done it to wind up the British, and I bloody love it. Mm. They've just made a cup of tea wrong. That's oh. all they've done. And it's got over a million shares. Can you please explain why and how you've made it wrong? Because I'm getting, I'm getting vexed here. I'm getting anxious. No, no, no. I, I haven't made it wrong. This TikTok video made it wrong, right? So how did, they make, it, how did they make it wrong? Oh, mate. It's insane how they made it wrong, okay? okay. So they, they put boiling water into an empty cup, and then they added milk, and then they threw in the tea bag. <laughs> I'm not one to comment on many things, but I tell you what, I've got twitchy yeah, fingers ready to comment. Mate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode six of Comedian Catch Up. Uh, my name is Nick Ratto. Thank you so much for joining us and thanks for subscribing. Uh, lots of you subscribing, um, but um, I looked at the numbers uh, last week. Uh, apparently 80% of you who are watching haven't subscribed. I don't know what that means, but you know what to do. Subscribe below uh, to Comedian Catch Up. And uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get crack into it. We are the UK uh, special right now. This is the UK special. I've got uh, my two favorite comedians uh, who are living in the UK at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Jared Christmas and Tom Deacon. Yes! Excited. Excited. Round of applause is for Tom Deacon. This is for Tom oh, Deacon. No. Round of applause for, for Jared as well. I'm not mucking Thank about. You. We're hearing nothing but horror stories uh, ah. from the UK. So what's going yeah. on? Yeah, I, I think, yeah, probably it's pretty bleak. Um, but <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm out in the country. I'm out in a little village in Somerset. So um, it's, it's almost idyllic, apart from the whole, I'm not earning any money and I don't know what's happening with my career. And I don't know when it's going to start up again, sort of issue. I have been eating a lot of biscuits, but you know what else I've got into, uh, guys? What's that? Cups of tea. Seriously, like eight a day. And I've been uh, pissing all the way through the night. I've been getting up three or four times because I had no idea it was a diuretic, right? <laughs> so I've been doing that. So I started panicking, think I, thinking, great, like during a pandemic, I've now got prostate issues. So a mate of mine in the village is a doctor. So uh, I, I phoned him up and I said, you know, I know there's a lockdown and social distancing, but can you check my prostate? And he is like, is it like over Zoom? Over Zoom? Yeah, over <laughs> Zoom. Yeah. Hell of a webcam footage, mate. I know. It's you, just you getting the right angle. For though, that. <laughs> the lighting is in. Hold on, this is what I look like. <laughs> Yeah, that looks severe. But <laughs> with, a, with a bit more hair. Yeah. Um, more fibre, more fibre. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't be pushing. But I convinced him to come around to my house, right? Uh, and he meets me at the gate. Uh, we're social distancing, right? Yeah. And uh, Was he wearing one of those know, plague masks? <laughs> he... Mate, he was in full hazmat. Full hazmat. <laughs> <laughs> he said he didn't need to wear that kind of protection dealing with COVID. He had to double up for me. <laughs> um, I love the idea that that distancing looks like he's going to take a run up to do a check. <laughs> <laughs> he just had one really, really long finger. Um, and uh, so we're at the gate and we're chatting and I'm sort of thinking, how are we going to do this? And then, and then I said to him, do you want a cup of tea? And then I started telling him about my obsession with tea and he just started laughing and walked away and said, uh, try just drinking three cups of tea a day. See how that works. Yeah. I almost got my mate to break the distancing rule. I almost got my bum hole fingered during a pandemic <laughs> because I didn't know tea was a diuretic. Tom, has there anything been happening in your neck of the woods that's... Uh... Not, not that I can top that with, no, uh, or even <laughs> level it. You were saying more more. about your, your mate's cafe that you're keeping them open with co buying coffee. Yeah, give us a shout out. Yeah. So, yeah, they're, they're called the Birdhouse, and it's in it's in Clapham Junction. And um, uh, they they basically said, look, we have to stay open uh, if we can, because uh, they serve food as well. Because when the lockdown happened, I was like, we haven't got a lot of strong flour, and I quite like making fresh pasta. Uh, got it for Christmas, one of those rolly sort of like uh, things where you roll it out. So I asked them if it was possible I could get some strong white flour. And Alexei, he's Cuban. He was like, no problem. I can sort that out. Uh, I think, and he looked on his phone to get an order in 
And he said, I I'm pretty sure I can get you six kilos. And I went, it's a lot of strong white flour. But all right, I think, yeah. Do you know what? I like pizza dough as well. So we'll make that. This is fine. No worries. Go for it, right? And I like a fruit crumble and you need the strong white flour for that. So I said, yeah, fine. So he said to me two days before I was supposed to pick it up, he went, there's a slight issue. When I said six kilos, I meant 16. <laughs> so your man here went in <laughs> on a 16 kilo bag of flour. It's changed my world. I mean, I'm bored of baking. That's all I, I don't think I'm ever going to get through 16 kilos of strong white flour. Here's the thing, uh, Rene, Like The thing is, I went to Italy and then we did a, my girlfriend and I did a pasta making course and they go on about this. It has to be zero, zero flour. No other flour is acceptable. Zero, zero. It is so expensive. But here's the thing. When we were in Italy, we thought, well, we really enjoyed that. And look in the supermarket, it's only 50p for a bag of zero, zero, one kilo flour. Yeah. So I said to her, why don't we take some home? She went, that's a great idea. So I took a one kilo bag of white powder <laughs> in my hand <laughs> luggage <laughs> and then when we got to the airport i started panicking i was like well i can't chuck it away now so then luckily we kept the receipt <laughs> that oh, says nice. it was from the soup but honestly uh, the look I i've never been more nervous just trying to get through genuine uh flour through customs if i uh, if i know customs officials like i know customs officials all you need to show them is the receipt of where you've purchased it and they're fine with it exactly and they let you exactly through, yeah. they let you but, through but, no dramas that's but it's because I'm so it tight. Is. It's because I'm so tight. I didn't want to pay the four pounds. I'd rather pay fifty p. Yeah, <laughs> four yeah. pounds added on. And, and, and risk a body cavity search. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had been drinking more coffee, so you know it'd be like you, Jared. Yeah. Just an opportunity yeah. to have a check. <laughs> I'm not too sure if you're aware of this, but big news has hit New Zealand, and um, there was a Dunedin City Council um, meeting uh, that was held on Zoom. The councillor David Benson Pope um, was caught not wearing any trousers, just wearing some some underpants and uh, feather dusting his book bookcases. There's plenty of that sort of thing going on. I just don't, you know, it's been six weeks now. Some places longer. Like, do people n still not understand how Zoom works? I didn't realise it was actually a council like meeting. It just looked like it was a rest home cluster Zoom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it was, that's how old the people that were there. They were so old. Did you see the American uh, reporter on some local station? Um, she was doing a news report about a local makeup company that were adapting to the lockdown and they were doing home deliveries uh, of, of makeup. And so she, the reporter obviously thought, I'll do this report in my bathroom, applying the makeup, right? But I don't know what happened, but in the background, you can see her shower cubicle uh, and her husband is pushed up against the wall, naked <laughs> through the whole thing, just with a look like, oh God, I hope I'm not in shock. <laughs> so he was obviously having a shower and then she came in and she was like quick i've got to do this live report now right and he's just pushed up like that and you can see everything and for the full full two minute report he's just like that through the whole thing <laughs> i love the idea that it's just throughout his dicks just get smaller and smaller the longer he's in there <laughs> <laughs> i don't too sure if you're aware of this but we came out of level three this week uh, sorry, we went into level three this week, came out of level four. And so our takeaways got opened. And um, in Vicargill, which is the one of the southernmost towns uh, in or cities in New Zealand, they, I'm going to phrase this badly, they ate out all of the chicken <laughs> in KFC. <laughs> this is why I lost my job at the TVNZ <laughs> as a news reader. Um, <laughs> They ate out all the chicken. <laughs> they ate out all the chicken. Nick, I feel like you put those words in the wrong order to make it sound worse than it was. Back to take you. away, take out chicken, <laughs> eat out. I see, it makes logical sense. They are a chicken shop. They should have said, hey, people haven't had this chicken for a month. Um, <laughs> how many coleslaws do we actually need? Like, yeah. <laughs> like how many people... These bread rolls, you know, yeah. maybe we could swap a few out and have some cash. I think people are mainly going to be buying chicken, guys. I think <laughs> uh, um, I, when well, I lived in, when I grew up in Invercargill, 
um, there was no McDonald's, there was no Burger King, there was, you know, of those big stores, uh, yes. takeaway places, there was only KFC. Yes. And my mum used to call it Kentucky Duck. Um, I don't know why, uh, but whenever we got K Kentucky Fried Chicken, my mum would call it Kentucky Duck. So when we moved to when we moved to Christchurch, I was like, I don't know, like 10 years old and made the foolish mistake at school in front of the class uh, telling them that we had Kentucky duck for dinner the night before. And I got <laughs> relentlessly bullied. Um, I got the nickname duck. Are you sure that they just weren't saying something else in your New Zealand accent? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, calling me a dick. Oh, the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> oh, you're a duck. You're a duck. <laughs> you're a duck, mate. Is that because I ate the Kentucky Fried Chicken? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, it's just because you're a you're a duckhead. <laughs> I was trying to catch up on some UK news for to to try and get up to play with you guys, but um, it's all just coronavirus, like Black yeah. Death, like um, yeah, yeah. Hor it's almost like the uh, London Dungeon type font <laughs> just coming over all the <laughs> over all the headlines and, and and all the articles and things. And there's not yeah. I had to like scroll like way way down to even just get like Boris Johnson's had a baby. Like <laughs> yeah. it's just yeah his it's, his tenth baby. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. He's gotta get uh, he's gotta he doesn't going. know how many he's had though, that's the thing. No, he doesn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least he's got to he got to name this one. Oh really? <laughs> What's he called? Lucky him. Corona. He's named it after the doctor that saved him. Oh, Felipe or Jean. <laughs> <laughs> will Rodriguez. <laughs> Rodriguez. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and you will have to leave. Uh, so his child will have to leave as well. <laughs> it's very confusing. Yeah, Guardian. Nice. You have to scroll a lot to get to any other news. Oh, absolutely. Don't you? And it's it's uh, it's yeah, it's all coronavirus. Can you but, see that? Um, one yeah. of the biggest coronavirus oh, yeah. coronavirus yes. corona and also and corona. also can you fund us can you can you give us a subscription yeah. can you pay for the news yeah. please can you That's pay for it. your doom and gloom yeah. can, you, can you keep paying us <laughs> yeah yeah the big thing that was coming out over here is that um the uk uh commuters might have to be asked to uh take the temperature before traveling so like on the tube yeah and all that rectally kind of stuff. as well yeah <laughs> it's good to say that do we want that like Cockney, Cockney guys just going, oi, or orally or regularly. Yeah. Oi, put it up my apples and pears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why would you be fingering the stairs? That makes no sense. All right, I'm mate. Not, I'm, not, I'm not accepting that. <laughs> What's Cockney rhyming slam for butthole? <laughs> well, <laughs> put it know. up my M6 toll. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it works. It works. Oh, no, I know what it is. I know what it is. Put it in me, Bakerloo. Bakerloo line's brown, isn't it? On the uh, underground. Yeah, in the underground. Uh, you that need a bit work. of bit of London underground knowledge for that one. What's what's? Sorry, uh, New Zealand. What's put it um, put it in my uh put it in my pint of bitter, shitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you ever look at my cockfosters? What's that? Is that just actually a, a medical diagnosis? Just the, that's well, the front. <laughs> Well, Foster's isn't good beer, so you're probably going to shit. So that makes sense, yeah. Oh, yeah. A, I yeah. haven't heard the word Foster's in nine years. Foster's. Years. Uh, um, hey, yes. big ad campaign, big ad campaign over here, where the tagline was uh, Foster's, good call. Ah, uh, Jared, do you want to talk us through that? This guy. Yeah. Wow. I uh, I got the phone call. I got a phone call. Hey, do you, can you be the voice of Foster's? And I said, oh, it's an Aussie beer, and I'm a New Zealander. And they said. We don't care. And that's when I said, good call. And then, now, it's that's 10 years. That's 12, 13, 14 years of that no. phrase. Oh, no. When did that? Yeah, it was about 2012. I never it hasn't this. been continuous. I wish it was, mate. <laughs> yeah, wish it right. was. Oh, mate. Then you wouldn't be worried in lockdown. Yeah, I'm um, properly worried. I've started putting out postcards in the uh, village phone box offering oh, my lovely. services <laughs> no takers that's why he's so parched eight cups of teas a day uh, <laughs> some people have a cigarette jared has a cup of tea and it, and it helps get rid of the taste <laughs> 
Talk to me about that tea bagging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this all just being a euphemism, Jared, to sell your yeah. phone box business? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. I do make house visit. It's very hard doing that sort of thing whilst social distancing, though. Yeah. That is that is something I've had to overcome. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like a joke as well. I'm literally just blowing on it. Yeah. <laughs> from two meters yeah. with, a, with a leaf blower are you feeling anything <laughs> nothing I've, I've connected loads of mcdonald's straws together yeah. <laughs> and they're like it's like getting wanked off by a butterfly <laughs> but somewhere in the world there's a there's a, <laughs> an earthquake <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Someone else has come like an earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to start no. somewhere. <laughs> what oh, an wow. image. Mate. Listen, uh, I thought I thought that uh that tube story wasn't gonna go very well, but man. <laughs> <laughs> well it certainly took a diversion, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Hey, let's go on to further afield. I don't know if you guys know this, but um Sweden, um they have a yeah. A uh, festival that happens with, among a lot of students, and it's um, it's a spring festival, and thirty thousand people normally gather there, and they don't want people to gather there, obviously because of the coronavirus. They've sprinkled a ton of chicken manure in the park to discourage people from gathering for a festival. Tom, do you have any? Um... <laughs> well, I just love the idea they've sprinkled yeah. it. Normally, you would just have a machine that would yeah. fire it out quickly, whereas in like Sweden, they just. Just a little bit here, a little bit they've there, got, a pinch. They've got that guy Salt Bay. <laughs> <laughs> it's such Good a call. Swedish way of solving it, though, isn't it? Such yeah. a Swedish way. Because if it was the UK, they would just put hundreds of police officers around yeah, it. With horses. Um, you know, New Zealand would just have Jacinda on there going, guys, don't do this for the country, for us. United, we will not party. Yeah. But Sweden's like, chicken shit let's do it it's good for the grass i love it i think someone who came up with that idea definitely said that phrase with a question mark at the end chicken, like, shit? chicken shit <laughs> everyone's gone yeah that's a I bet they idea. had a planning meeting didn't they guys we need to stop people from coming to the special everyone's throwing in ideas and then chicken shit dave pipes up every single idea yeah. we've come up with you've said that dave yeah. this might be the one that works <laughs> maybe the chicken shit works on corona <laughs> <laughs> that's one too many dave but yeah, yeah. hey hey puss, puss. yeah and stop feather dusting for crying out loud yeah. um, put some trousers on in this meeting <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even a zoom oh um, someone's printing something in my house Look at oh. this. this is can you hear it? I can. Oh, very. Yeah. You can see it. This is another game. <laughs> Look at here it comes. What have they printed? Here it I'm comes. At schoolwork. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Probably maths. I reckon it's maths. Look like at that. At, I feel this like is so exciting. We're watching a paper representation of what Jared gets up to. It's double sided. They've gone double sided, guys. They've gone double sided. <laughs> Look, it sucked it back in. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back out. Double sided. Look at that. Health passports are going to be possible in a few months to help people who have had COVID-19 and built, uh, built up antibodies so that they can go out and travel and do everything. Is this kind of like, uh, are we going to see sort of this idea, like, you know how they've got chicken pox parties, like people are going to try and get infected by it so they can go holiday in Magaluf. Are you, do you think you'll be allowed dual passports as well? Like, <laughs> if... <laughs> If you've, <laughs> you've got your Corona one as well and yeah. uh, chicken pox. Yeah. Chicken pox one. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not keen on, on this. I mean, cause it's posted apparently with this, it's going to be facial recognition so that we have the picture. It's just basically people trying not to look ill. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. But you always, I'm, but you always look ill in a passport photo. Yeah. You don't, yeah. You know, yeah. This is costing me six pounds. Yeah. <laughs> but also, it's gonna it's gonna separate it's gonna separate the community even more. It's gonna raise up forgery. However, I'm already annoyed the fact that I bought an Irish passport to accompany accompany my British passport. Uh oh, 
live oh, walking past. Oh, I'm going to film this. Am <laughs> 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 I scrolling it? <laughs> Come on, Amelia. Everyone knows you're there. Just reach for the, reach for it. No one can see you behind the purple chair. Reach your armor. Reach for it. Reach for it. Just reach for it. No. Oh. This is great. Hi. Hi, Amelia. Are we? Jared. Jared. <laughs> right. It's the camera. The camera's facing the ceiling now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> what? Why did that piece of paper just walk walk out the door? I, I don't She's know still on the fucking show again, hasn't she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, oh, you can't goodness. say that this show hasn't had it all. Um, <laughs> This is how this is how um, this is how the topical news show should go every week. Should be, man. Oh, Have man, I got news fun. for you? Would be better if uh, partners <laughs> were coming in to get the printing. Good printer. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I've, I've, I've had a lot of fun, gentlemen. This has been great. I don't feel I've, like we need I've got to go tears in my eyes from oh. from laughter. Yeah, Unlike other days where it's just genuine sadness. <laughs> <laughs> It's been uh, super fun. Thank you so much. I've uh, really enjoyed catching up with you guys. Ep6 Community mm. Catch Up. Subscribe, tell your friends, share, comment, like, all that malarkey. Um, next week, we'll be back with an episode, uh, which I'm going to title Episode 7. <laughs>